Welcome to Woodbury. Okay, we're in the governor's house. Let's see what uh, what he's got in store with us. We are taking uh, my classic farming team. Obviously, Maggie to get extra XP for everyone. Glenn, so he can get some cheeky supplies. And uh, Princess, because she's just great. She's just fantastic. Um, yeah, and we can kill a lot of walkers with her. So we've just done the upgrade. Uh, the, the, the patch, sorry, for the game. And you can kind of see how that's affecting... Yeah, see how that's affecting those those icons there, the support icons. I think uh, it's it's maybe a little bit distracting, but overall, I I think that that's that's maybe better. It's giving you more view of the screen, you know, without showing icons that you can't use. But it's. Uh, I think that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, when it's when it's switching, that's that's a little bit distracting. But all in all, it's a good change. Just yeah, I'm, I can see out the corner of my eye. I can I can see the icons changing, and it's uh, it's doing my head in just a little bit. Mm. Anyway, they've definitely brought in some good changes with the new patch. Um, Something that was just sort of briefly mentioned in, in the text is something which I was hoping that they would do, which is if you are on a mission where you are interacting with something, like opening a gate, um, and you get distracted, and then you go back to it, it doesn't completely reset. So let's say the gate takes six turns to open, you've spent two turns, you get distracted, and then you have to go back. It doesn't reset to six turns, it'll be four turns. It's 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 a nice change. Um here we go. So this is this is one of my favorite challenge missions, I think, that one, where you have to get out. Um I, I think it's from that episode where Rick is hearing his wife on the phone, if I recall. That's the episode that it's based on. But um, it's a good one. Very big map. Lots of surprises. Lots of walkers sort of coming out on you. It doesn't have a threat counter. So you can be as noisy as you like. That's that's definitely a plus. That's a good thing. That helps you. Um, but yeah, the walkers just... They just keep on coming. I think anything that can stun or root them... The thing is, at the end, if you're on a high difficulty... Lots of walkers come out and try to stop you from getting across that line. And you've got to have a way of, of you know, just beating them. Maybe having Daryl as a leader or Beta. Beta? Beta? Um, and having close combat characters, that could be a good thing. Because all you've got to do is get to the end. It's not about how many walkers you kill. You've got to get to the end. So those two characters are great for getting past... Uh, you know, walkers. Otherwise, tool up. But you need to be able to take out... If you're going to fight your way out, you need to have characters who can kill a lot of walkers reliably in one turn. So obviously you think, right, oh, great, well, I'll, I'll bring an assault character. Um, they don't tend to, to cause a lot of damage is the only thing. I think uh, I think it's definitely a mission where where Beta's leadership trait can really sort of come in handy. Oh my gosh, what have I done here? I've really really penned myself in, haven't I? Okay, you you don't worry, you'll be all right, Princess. So this one, there's a threat counter. There are walkers popping out every turn as soon as you start opening that gate. So make sure that you've got all your ducks in a row. Make sure that you have um, taken out as many walkers as you can before you start opening that gate. I think having having characters like scouts or shooters who can take out enemies efficiently in one turn is a good idea on this one. You're not likely to get flooded unless you just make shed loads of noise because there is a threat counter. But you shouldn't have to make that much noise. Uh, definitely ranged characters. 
so that if they're on the bottom side of the map, away from the isolated individual, you can just overwatch. You know, I think that's a good idea. Bring things like bows that uh, can kill efficiently, but don't make noise. That's a good suggestion on this map. Both good missions so far, and, uh, you know, I recognise them. We've done them before. They're pretty good. Death Trap, reach the exit. Okay, which one is this? Looks like we've got a big guy. Oh yeah, this one's this one's definitely one of the easier missions out of this map set. Um, you can't, you know, you have poor visibility, but there's few walkers on the map at the start. Get a scout, get a shooter to that door, start opening it right away, and you're out before the. Um, Threat counter even hits zero and the reinforcements arrive. Obviously, if you have Yumiko, uh, you can have her open the door and she will still turn around and fire off a shot when everyone else does. Um, if she's the leader, which is, is just absolutely fantastic. You can certainly have close combat characters, uh, melee characters, if you, if you prefer that term, um, because it's a fairly small map and... Yeah, it's where wherever there's limited visibility, that limits how effective ranged characters are. But hey, melee characters are all about running up to things and smashing them in the face with a weapon. Kill the walkers that broke through the fence. You know, I recognise these missions, but it's 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 not they're they're not sort of coming to mind right away. Oh yes, this one. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah. I mean, there's there's definitely some tactics to be employed with this one. So here's something that a lot of people don't seem to do, which is just run away. You don't have to kill everything in, in you know, the first turn that you possibly could. You can just run away, and sometimes that's a very good idea. <sighs> um, yeah, you're never going to be sort of flooded with walkers on this map. Uh, we've got some just standard walkers come flooding out of here. Okay, I want... Right, let's kill them with these guys and then let's get Glenn working on that. Um, I've certainly found having a bruiser useful just so that if the worst of the worst does happen, they can take a couple of hits while they are closing up that gate. You're going to have two tank walkers appear obviously that one there appears when you start closing the um closing the trailer use the chance to build up your charge attacks of course as you know when when you have the chance to close the trailer build up those charge attacks you don't have to start closing it right away you could even use this as a good opportunity to farm some xp if you are so inclined although obviously only two walkers will appear at a time, so it'd be a bit of a slow process. But you need something that can hit hard to take care of those tanks, and you, you're kind of going to want to sort of maybe have some area effect just so that you can, you know, hit everything that appears. Oh, set the explosives and blow up the tank. Oh, I like this one. So I'm not going to use a bruiser right now just because we're on a fairly low level. But this is one where I found that they can really, really come in handy. Uh, having them setting charges on the tank. They're resilient enough to just take a knock. And you can wind up taking a few hits because walkers appear at a pretty quick rate. I think four walkers will appear each turn. At this level, not a problem. At higher difficulties, after you've completed a couple of rounds and they can take a good couple of hits before they go down, well, yeah, things become a bit trickier. What I would suggest is that you build up your charge attacks before you start mucking around with the tank. Yeah, and as soon as you do, don't let yourself get surprised by the fact that... 
walkers will start appearing. Obviously this is where things like the decimator can be really handy because it essentially can shoot where you can't see. What I like to do is, so we know that as soon as we start mucking around with the tank, special walkers will appear. You saw that armoured one just there. I like to get rid of all of the special walkers, just clear the, uh, clear the map before I move on to the next bit. There's two charges. Set one charge, those special walkers appear, they get a couple of reinforcements, clear the map, then start working on that second charge. And this is really important as well. Get behind cover before you set off that detonator. It's, it's a mistake that I've made for. You can, in the heat of the moment, you think, oh God, there's, there's walkers closing in everywhere. Oh, I need to blow up that tank and get out here. But um, if you're out in the open, you can't. 